going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome to your first time here i'm gonna make a quick update video on this ad motor trike i've had this about a month and a half now and i have to say it is as well it's awesome it's a a lot of fun i've rolled the crap out of this thing around the road here and it's been a lot of enjoyment and if you live you know in a suburban area in a urban area this would be great to get back and forth for pretty much everything you need to go to the store or whatever because it has you know large basket behind the store things or the haul things has a front basket as you can see the frame is really really strong so you can see my hand compared to that frame size and you can see how large this is huge battery and so far you know i can't find any thoughts whatsoever with this truck the only thought i could find is that it didn't come with you know mirrors i had to buy these separate and put these on here be nice if it had mirrors on it already when it came and it's easy to assemble it took me about 30 minutes to put this together it just uh the handlebars are off and the baskets are off and the uh fenders and the front tire isn't assembled you just put that together and the paddles here is to go on but overall it didn't take long to put this together about 30 35 minutes and like i said so far it's been awesome the only thing i can find besides not having mirrors from the factory is that the brakes on the rear that one over there on that side will catch first before this one does and so it will you can feel it kind of pulls on one side with the brakes so they need to be adjusted but it's not bad at all just a little bit there but other than that you know it's been great the motor you can see on the front tire and that's what turns with the electricity from the battery the rear tires you can see the chain here from the goes to the rear axle you power the, the, the rear tires with your paddles here so if you had the front tire going with the electricity from the battery you can also be paddling the back tires here and have a three a three-wheel drive As you can see back there how the cogs work around the rear axle It even has signal lights up on the handlebars you can uh, press a button and the signal lights will come on depending on which way you want to turn the basket is good size it has good shocks the shocks are adjustable it has fenders i mean all the way around this thing is well made metal that's metal not plastic in here so they didn't cheap out there and they could have made this plastic made it cheaper but it's metal looks like the front all metal that's also great this backrest here actually helps a lot when you're riding to make it more comfortable it's adjustable you can see you turn this here and it's up and down it can go so adjust to where you want it to be at seven speeds it'll go 20 miles per hour on a level surface downhill much faster than that obviously because you'll be coasting downhill so you don't be going too fast in this thing because <laughs> imagine if you run into the ditch with this or something it would definitely be an horrendous crash and say you're going 35 40 miles per hour down a hill on this track and for some reason your front wheel goes off into the ditch and your whole track goes along goes along behind that front wheel and you on with it i mean that would be a horrendous crash i remember my uh stepson when me and his mom was together he was riding the bike he was with his dad then so i didn't see it but he was telling me about it he was about nine years old then and he was riding a regular bike and he was going downhill he said and he was coasting and uh, he said it got probably 40 or 50 miles per hour felt like it did he said and it had to be going pretty fast because of the way he was tore up but he wrecked and and his dad brought him back to the house uh for us for us to take him to the hospital to get him checked out his dad didn't even take him his dad brought him back to us to take to me and his mom but anyway when i first saw him get out of his dad's vehicle and i was like golly what happened to you he was tore all to pieces when he wrecked that bike. His face was tore up, his skin was tore up, I and mean, he was a mess. It looked like he'd been into a car wreck. It really did. So these things, you know, if you're going too fast and you have a crash up, you can definitely be hurt. So keep that in mind when going downhill, 
riding in these things or any other bike for that matter. So far, I'm not crashed this one up. I hope I never do. Because at my age, if you crash something like this up and you actually go into that ditch and you're flopping over in front of this thing and it goes over top of you maybe and you're going to be definitely in the hospital probably I would be after wrecking something like this that wasn't that fast. When I was a kid, I could have probably just wrecked it and jumped back up and been kept on going. But anymore, when you pass, when you pass 45, when you get up to 50, especially, I mean, and things like that happen, it's difficult to heal back. It takes, it takes longer. Anyway, thought I'd give you an update on this bike and this track so far. And I love this thing. I love the color of this thing. And it's a lot of fun to ride around here. I can take it out and cruise around the roads here and things. And... It's different than driving an automobile because you can see more. It's just, it's actually enjoyable to ride this. And, you know, if you had to use it for transportation, you live especially in a suburban area close to town. You can take this to the store. You can take this to get whatever you need to get and pick up. Put it in the basket there and drive home. Charge her up and you could theoretically never spend. Well, you, you wouldn't have to spend any uh, money on Automobile biting it or gasoline or oil or nothing like that. Just plug it in and charge it up and go to where you need to go to it and go back and home and plug it back in again for the next day. You could ride this thing to work. And you could save a lot of money with this, actually. The way the gas prices are going back up, it can definitely be a, it could, over time it would actually pay for itself. Anyway, let me check in the comments below. If you'd like to, if you like this track, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Or give it two thumbs down. It's even better. And you really know what you think. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll keep going back here and I'll see you all in the next video, hopefully.